Hey everyone, it's Jay with Journey Vision, and I am out here in Laverkin, Utah at the Virgin River Overlook. It's very spectacular, and I hope you enjoyed the footage of this amazing campsite. Here we go again. I just continue to find these incredible spots to camp. If you can't tell, I'm a big advocate for Leave No Trace. Every single campsite I stay at, I make sure to leave it better than I found it. I'm going to be making my way to one of my favorite areas of southern Utah. We're headed towards the town of Escalante and Boulder, and there's just some spectacular scenery out there, and can't wait to take you along. So this area has gotten a little popular. All right, we're hopping on Highway 9. Headed to Zion. Let the journey continue. I wanted to buy an annual. Well, national park will be eighty dollars. Okay. Thank you. Okay, All right. Have a great day. It's official. Annual park pass. Absolutely stunning. This canyon I've been hiking down is really neat. I just randomly stopped off the road. There wasn't a lot of people in that pull off and I've been hiking this whole time and only saw two people. This drive up to Bryce Canyon is really something special. This is Mossy Cave, another little gym. Randomly found it. Well, that stop was a huge success. Mossy Cave, and then there was a little waterfall. I had no idea. We are on our way to Escalante. We've just got into Tropic. We have made it to Escalante. I'm <laughs> pretty excited, but pretty tired too. It's been a big day and I need to get some food and find a place to sleep for the night. It is a beautiful morning. I've made it to Escalante. I'm inside the National Monument and it was a big drive yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed our side quest though. I hope you 
enjoyed them as well. That was a lot of fun. So I did make it off of the Hole in the Rock Road. So I drove about eight miles down this very washboard dirt road. It is a maintained road, but it has to be the most vicious washboards I've ever driven. But this is where I ended up. It's a beautiful little campsite inside of a cow pasture area. And right now I'm making a little bit of breakfast. I There we go. That's what's for breakfast. I wanted to give you a quick shot of my campsite. I ended up in this cow pasture. It's a little sandy, but it was nice and flat. The reason I chose to camp here was I'm at the trailhead for the Zebra Slot Canyon. So I was out here in 2018 and I hiked Peekaboo and Spooky and Brimstone and they were absolutely incredible. I fell in love with Slot Canyon so Zebra should be really neat and let's go check it out. So zebra slot was really neat. It lived up to the hype. I think I saw some zebra stripes in there. It was a little bit busy, so I had to kind of get in and out of there. It's a little hard to get some footage, but uh, the water section was really fun. So we're checking out a bonus slot canyon. It's called Tunnel Slot, and it's just a little bit further down from the zebra slot canyon. So I'm about to enter the Tunnel Slot Canyon. I'm a little bit nervous. It's dark and you never know how deep this water is, but wish me luck. Absolutely incredible. It is a little chilly, I'm not gonna lie. And we're almost out. That was so much fun to cross that and uh, quite the adventure. Hope you guys are enjoying the journey. If anybody knows what kind of stones these are, they're filled with sand, let me know in the comments. So for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna have me a little snack, take a quick rest, and then get back to camp as soon as I can. Wow, it's a really pretty morning out here in Escalante off of the Hole in the Rock Road. I took yesterday to relax and just take it easy after all the excitement. I really feel like we're packing the journey in this episode of Journey Vision. 
So today I'm gonna to be making my way out of Escalante. It's time for me to head back to Colorado Springs. I may have one more stop in between. I'm not sure where that's gonna be yet, but I think I have enough time for just one more stop. And then after that, it's back to Colorado Springs. I'm gonna put my van in storage and it's time for me to hop on a plane for my seasonal job. I'm really excited. So in my next episode, I'll reveal what my seasonal job is. In a way, I'm kind of sad. It's been a long road trip. I've been on the road since June. It's coming to an end here at the beginning of May, but that's okay. Uh, I get to spend some time doing something different, give my van a rest, and then September of next year, we're gonna resume the van life and uh, keep the journey going. If you can't tell, I'm just having the time of my life. I'm living my best life and I wanna keep this journey going. So if you can, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.